When you create a schedule, you will have a list of every element in that category. And that list can be quite long. If you wish, you can filter the schedule. And you can filter off of most of the parameters that are added in the schedule. For example, here we have a conduit schedule and every single conduit element in the project is listed in the schedule. But we can filter it down. In the properties palette, when you scroll down, you can see that there are several options under other with an edit button. Each one of these edit buttons will open the schedule properties dialog. For example, if I click edit next to filter, then the schedule properties dialog opens to the filter tab. In the filter by dropdown, you can select the parameter that you want to filter off of. For example, when I select family and type, I can then expand the operators dropdown and select one of the operators, such as equals, does not equal, contains, so on and so forth. So I will select equals for this example, and then the next dropdown will list all of the family and types that are in the schedule. So if I select conduit without fittings, EMT dash electrical metallic tubing, then I'm going to filter the schedule so that it shows just conduit elements that the family and type equals what I selected. So when I click OK, now you can see that the schedule is filtered down to show just the elements that we told Revit to show. All right, I'll go back and click Edit next to Filter. And then let's try something else. Let me expand the Operator dropdown. And this time I'll select Does Not Equal. So now it should show me all the conduit elements that do not equal conduit without fittings EMT dash electrical metallic tubing. And then I'll click OK. And then as you can see, the elements that we were showing previously, those are now filtered out of the schedule. So depending on what your operator is, we'll control how that's going to work. All right, let me click Edit next to Filter again. And let's look at a couple more options here. I can also select Contains or Does Not Contain. And when I do that, now I simply just have a text field. There is not a dropdown. And the reason is because contains is a little more open-ended. It's not a, an explicit value such as equals or does not equal. So this time, let me enter conduit with fittings. So I'm looking for the family and type parameter, and I want it to contain conduit with fittings, which is what I entered here. And I will click OK. Now, the, the schedule is filtered to show just the conduit elements that the family and type parameter contains conduit with fittings. All right, let's take a look here at a couple more things. What if I were to change this to conduit with fittings and I left it all in lowercase? When I do that, it actually filters out everything. And the reason is because that is case sensitive, as we just saw. So there are not any elements that have family and type that contains conduit with fittings all lowercase. So just be aware of that fact. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at, yeah, as you can see here, there are additional options such as does not contain, begins with, ends with, and, and even if I switch, let's switch to the size parameter and then expand that operators dropdown. And now you can see that there are several more options here. Uh, we even have things like has a value, has no value, is associated with, uh, is greater than. So let's do this. Let's do is greater than. And let me select two inches and then click OK. Now the schedules filter to show just conduit greater than what I select. Sorry, I already forgot. Then two inches. <laughs> if we change it to is greater than or equal to, 
now we can see that two inch conduit as well as everything greater than that. So filters are, there's a lot of things you can do with filters and they can be uh, very flexible and a great way to filter out certain components that you do not want to see. And that is very important in our schedules. Okay, just a quick note here as we wrap up. Let me go back to family and type. And um, if I select contains, and let me see here if I can find uh, an example to show this. Okay, so here we have some that contain tubing. So let's say that, let me say family and type contains tubing, and I'll click OK. But let's say that we had a couple different types in here, and some were had an uppercase tubing and some had a lowercase tubing. If we ran into something like that, we could simply remove that first letter and then click OK. That way, anything that appeared with a capital T and a lowercase t to begin would work in that filter. So just a quick tip there. And last thing here that I'll mention, we can always filter off of multiple fields. Okay, so right now we have a one for family and type, and then as you can see, there are several more and call or sorry and rows here. So we can filter off of the family and type and the size or the length or any other parameter that we had here. So now let me go back to the size. I'm going to select is greater than or equal to, and let's do let's do three inches this time and click OK. Now we, we have it filtered down quite a bit. So just to wrap up, multiple ways to filter this schedule. Uh, you Sometimes you just got to think through it a little bit depending on what you want to accomplish. Howdy, thanks for watching. If you'd like more free content from Click to BIM, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have affordable subscription options at clicktobim.com where you can access all of our videos. We also have an amazing search feature that allows you to search through every single word in all of our videos to help you quickly find the answers to your questions.